Hi and welcome to this uh, introduction to Blender. Uh, in this um, set of videos, this course, we're going to go through the Blender interface and get ourselves really familiar with, you know, how it works and how to navigate around. Uh, so I know it's super dull and boring, uh, but you know it's quite important to get familiar because you know I I personally find when I'm not really familiar with the you know the basics, the nuts and bolts. It just makes everything harder, you know, because I'm going from one thing to another and I'm having to relearn, um, you know, how to navigate and change and do things. So getting really familiar is, you know, it's quite important in my opinion. So I've got the, the splash screen up. I've just launched Blender and we're going to go with a general scene. Uh, but here we have different options depending upon what you're doing uh, in Blender. You've got some recent files you may have done. Uh, you can open a file uh, and then we've got some release notes and uh, the option to contribute to the developer fund. Uh, so we're going to go with the general, uh, which is just our basic, you know, polycube uh, scene. Okay, with that uh, done, I'm going to go to edit and preferences. Uh, just to show you how I have it set up, you may decide to set it up differently. That's you know up to you, and you know everybody's different. We all, you know, have uh, you know preferences. Um, so I've got my key map set to uh, left button, uh, left mouse for selections. Uh, my space bar set to search, which we'll look at uh, in a slightly later video. My activate gizmo event is drag and I've got select all toggles. Um, so the select all is, yeah, when you press the A key um, with toggles on, it will, if you have nothing selected, it will select everything. And if you have um, something selected, it will select nothing. Uh, I hope that makes sense. When we go to that a bit later, you know, you'll, you'll, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, on the 3D view, I've got uh, my grave accent stroke tilde action is navigate, uh, middle mouse action is orbit, uh, alt mouse action uh, is relative, uh, alt mouse drag action rather, and then just in addition to that, I've uh, got the extra shading pie menu selected, which gives me options to change how my scene is displayed. <coughs> Okay, with that said, and those settings, to navigate around the viewport to, you know, spin around and pan and do all those things so you can look at your object and select different things, um, is all pretty much done on the middle mouse button. So if I click middle mouse and drag my mouse, I will rotate around my scene. Um, if I press shift and middle mouse, I will pan and <coughs> excuse me if i press control and middle mouse i'll zoom in and out so if i you know zoom in and out like that um, that's very fine uh, but i can also use the mouse wheel to do that it's just a little bit more kind of stepped uh, if you lose your scene and you can't uh, you know can't quite get back to where you want because at this point you're kind of rotating around you know a point in space that may be not relative to your object uh, which is confusing um, in object mode I've got the cube selected I can press the full stop on the number uh, pad key to center in and refocus my my camera okay so I hope you found that useful uh, I urge you to sort of practice that a bit to get your fingers and your mind kind of familiar with uh, navigating around because you know once you've cracked that uh, it starts to make everything else a little bit easier okay so I hope you enjoyed that video in the next video we'll go through uh, some more aspects of the blender interface to you know get you a little bit more familiar so I'll talk to you then